20 years old Veronica James, a mother of one, believes is not different from the other South Sudanese, despite her being an internally displaced person living in a UN protected camp in Bor, South Sudan, saying that I wish there is peace so that I can go home and continue with my studies. <laughs> Veronica has been living in the protection of civilian site in Bor since December 2013 when fighting erupted between government SPLA forces and opposition fighters. I lost a lot of my relatives, even my brother was shot, but thank God he is alive. For her safety, Veronica cannot go outside the protection of civilian site into the town in fear of her life that she only went to the town twice since entering the protection of civilian site in 2013. <laughs> Onmes has been working to build confidence among people like Veronica James. In early 2017, supported peace initiative by the Interchurch Committee, bringing on board about five denominations, including 30 participants at Onmes POC site in Bor which aim to reach people together and build the confidence of others to go home. On his first visit to Bor and people, the new head of ONMIS, David Scherer, toured the site to get an idea of the challenges facing humanitarian and peacekeepers. He met with the community leaders in Bor Protection of Civilian Site listen to their challenges and call for peace so that internally displaced persons can go home and live their normal life. Uh, we are working as hard as we can to bring peace, uh, but the uh, situation is still very difficult, I know. What, what we would like to do is obviously we will try, try and support you as much as we possibly can in uh, the the environment here that you're in, uh, but we will also be trying to, as much as we can, work with the local authorities so that it might be possible for people to start going back to their homes and, and certainly into the town uh, safely. Mr. Shira emphasised the importance of cooperation between the police forces to control criminal activities in the region. The state authorities have been working to reconcile communities which have been torn apart by the combination of war and the violent theft of property, including cattle raiding. That peace initiative has enabled some people to feel more confident about leaving the protection of civilian sites and resuming a normal life at home.